Hello guys, how are we doing? Hope you guys are well and thank you guys for joining me back here again. Today's video is specifically for sort of new gym goers or people that may not necessarily know what to do down the gym or haven't been to the gym for quite a while and are a little bit nervous to get back into it. Uh, I've had a number of friends come to me and say that they're a bit nervous going down the gym, that they feel intimidated going down there or that they just don't really know what to do when they get there. So being an avid gym goer, being someone that has been in and out of gyms for the past 10 years, I figured that I would do a video on it to break down the key things that you can do in a gym. And I'll uh, talk about um, specific exercises, different machines, different equipment that you can use. And I will try to fit it into what your goal might be. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you found this video enjoyable or at all useful. And if you want to know anything in particular, any exercises or if you've got specific goals, please comment down below and I will get back to you with some advice, tips and any help that I feel I can offer. Right guys, let's get into it. Now, if you are someone who, and you've got this far to the video and you are quite a confident gym goer and you do know what you're doing, this video will sound like I'm being patronizing and that's not the case. So if you are someone that already knows what they're doing, you feel confident in the gym, this video is going to go over the real basics. So you're probably best tuning into another one of my videos or going elsewhere. Um, I just thought I'd include that before I get started. Anyway, assuming that you are still here watching, um, I, the first thing I want to, to explain is when you go to the gym, it's always nice to have an initial purpose. And this can be like a very overarching purpose. Um, but you need to go to the gym with like, you need to go to the gym knowing what you're trying to achieve. So for instance, are you going to the gym because you feel like you're overweight? We've all been in lockdown. Maybe you've indulged a little bit too much and you just want to lose a bit of weight. Are you going because you're already fairly fit and athletic, but you've got a bit of extra body fat? Are you going because you want to improve overall athleticism? You want to be able to run quicker or something like that? Um, or do you have specific sports in mind? Are you trying to develop strength? Once you've figured that out, you can then go down to the gym with a purpose and you can cater your workouts accordingly. And I will talk about that in a second, but that's the first important thing because I often find one of the re biggest things that, that a lot of people say to me when they're a bit unsure is they're like, oh, I don't really know what to do. And it's like, well, what are you trying to achieve? Well, I want to go to the gym. I want to be healthy. And it's like, yeah, but there's more to it than that. What are you specifically trying to achieve? So have a goal. And that goal could be, I want to lose weight and I want to drop five kilos or I want to lose two stone, I whatever it might be. And once you've got that goal in mind, you can then work towards it. So... Now, hopefully you have a bit more of an idea as to what your purpose is in terms of going down the gym. All right, for me, I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm not even particularly trying to gain any weight. I am looking to get a bit stronger. I'm looking to get more flexible and improve overall athleticism. So I want to have good cardio. I want to be quick. I want to be fairly strong. I want to be quite powerful. And I want to be able to perform a, a, a much bigger variety of exercises. And so I know that, and so some days I won't really do that much down the gym except work on certain movements that might not seem, I might not build up a sweat, but they're very important in order for me to be able to achieve certain exercises. So now that you have got that goal in mind, I'm gonna break down the key body parts that you might want to exercise, and I'm gonna talk about the types of exercises and why you might be doing those. Now I'm gonna talk about cardio for a bit because cardio is something that I see most people that have first got into the gym or are new to the gym starting because it's something that is most familiar, right? You jump on a treadmill and you walk or you run, you jump on a bike, you do some rowing maybe, or you get on one of the cross trainers. Now cardio is great, okay? And I'm very much of the view that doing something is better than doing nothing. However, it's important that you understand what you're actually doing when you're doing cardio. Um, cardiovascular work works on your cardiovascular endurance. So you're um, improving the strength of your heart. You're improving your body's ability to process the oxygen and the air that you're breathing in. 
Um, but if your purpose and your objective when you're going down the gym is to lose weight, lose body fat, is to get stronger, for instance, to tone up, being on a treadmill or doing lots of cardio is not specifically going to do that. For instance, if I'm working out and I want to generally feel a bit fitter, if I want to improve my endurance, if I go on a run, or if I want to improve my endurance within my martial arts, I will pick up my cardio because I know that my body is going to be able to breathe um, at a slower rate, even though I'm working harder. Whereas when your cardio is really poor, you feel like you're out of breath, your body's panting because it needs more oxygen. So that is why cardio is really important. But if you're looking to achieve like strength gains, power gains, or you're looking to generally lose weight, cardio might not be the most efficient way of doing that. So if you're not doing cardio, the chances are you're lifting some kind of weight. Now, if you are a gal, and I'm, and I'm not trying to be sexist when I say this, however, if you are a gal, you might look at dumbbells or weights and the, you know, the big plates that you can see people lifting in the gym or the big weight machines and it might freak you out. You might think that you're going to get loads of muscles and you're going to have muscles popping out your neck and you, you know, that's not what you do. That is not what weights are, okay? Your body doesn't understand that you're lifting up a dumbbell or you're p picking up a kettlebell or you're, you've got a bar and you're squatting with a bar. It just understands, and I, I heard this quote and I really love it, your muscles speak a language of tension, okay? And the more weight you put on, the more tension there is. So when you look at people that are trying to develop lots of strength, they want to lift heavier weight because it puts more tension on the muscle and therefore they can get stronger. So when we go into the gym, there are weights, free weights is what we call them. So things like dumbbells, kettlebells, the big bars with the plates on the end. And then you have machines and the machines have very specific roles and I'm gonna break those roles down in a second. You walk into a gym, you go, do you know what, I'm gonna try something different. I watched Alex's video, I listened to what he said, and I'm gonna move away from the cardio today, I wanna to try some weights. And you would naturally gravitate towards the machines. So, the machines focus, as I've already just said, on a variety of different muscles. Let's break those down. The first set, your legs. Your legs come in multiple parts. You've got the lower leg, which is the calf. Boys, lads, you want bigger calves because it prevents you from having chicken legs. And if you wear, like me, skinnier jeans, and don't get me wrong, I've not got the biggest calves, um, it fills your lower leg out, which is important. And girls, when you're walking around in high heels, this muscle is really important and it, it kind of gives you that really nice sleek, sleek, I'm not sure that's necessarily a word you want to use when you talk about your legs, but it gives you that really nice looking leg at the bottom or the top of your high heel. Yeah. Anyway, you've then got your quads. These are your quads, these muscles here. You've got your hamstring. This is your hamstring. And you've got your glute, your booty muscle, okay? Now, there are a few different machines. Um, the main ones are the leg press. Basically a seat, big board in front of you. You put your feet on it and you push it away. Or you push yourself away depending on the machine. You've then got... Uh, hamstring curl, again, there are a variety of different style of machines, but essentially you're sitting up or laying down and you curl your leg in towards your bum, like so, and that works this muscle here. And then you have got the extensions where you basically sit down and, oh, I'm trying to do this on my sofa. You sit down and you do the opposite. So you straighten your legs up. And when you straighten your legs, your quad is also engaged. Okay, so there are a variety of different styles. Some of the machines work in various different ways, but that is the principle. If you're lifting your leg up, you're working your quad. If you're pulling your foot towards your bum, you're working your hamstring. And if you're doing all the pressing movements, it works a bit of both and it focuses on that bum. All right, so those are the leg style machines. Now with the upper body, we can break this into two. We can break this into pushing motions and we can break it into pulling motions. If you're doing push stuff, so anything that requires you pushing anything away from you, that is your chest, like so, and your shoulders, where you lift your shoulders up or you push things away, okay? The other, uh, the other muscles that um, go with your chest and your shoulders is your tricep, which is the back of your arm, okay? So this muscle here is your tricep, okay? And again, that is activated when you push stuff. So if you push something like this in any situation, forwards, down, above your head, 
That's working the tricep, the different parts of the shoulder, and your chest. And then again, there are a variety of different machines that will do pushing style uh, exercises and motions. The pull is all in your back and your biceps. So when you pull, be that here, be that here, where you're like pulling yourself up in a pull-up position, okay, low, high, this is going to target from your sort of your trap here all the way down to your lower back. That is going to do that. Even things like holding it and lifting off the floor, that's going to target your lower back too. And you've obviously got the biceps here. This again is a pulling motion. So when you pull stuff towards you, it is your bicep that is mostly activated. Now there are sometimes machines as well that work your core. So you'll have some machines that you sit in and you rotate like so. When you do that, I am going to lift my top up, excuse me. You have muscles down the side here and you have your core. Okay, these are called your obliques. So every side motion like this is your obliques and your core is anything crunch related. Okay, um, but I have no doubt that you can do sit-ups and all sorts of other things to activate your core. But if you see a machine you're like, what on earth is that? And it twists, that focuses your core. And then we come to the free weights. Now, free weights are something that you tend to see a lot of blokes gravitating towards um, because it's, I don't know, I think it's just this manly thing where you get to lift heavy things up and throw them over your head. But um, they, have, uh, they have a place, I think, in everybody's routine. Um, but it does require you to understand a variety of different exercises in order to be able to get a good workout. And I'm not going to break through all of those today, but as long as you remember what I just explained in terms of the different muscles, so your legs, okay, you've got squats, you've got lunges, um, you can do a whole variety of things where you like put your one leg on uh, a bench and you can lunge into it. There are a whole variety of different exercises that you can do that will focus on your legs and you can use dumbbells and you can use the big barbells to, um, to, to add a bit more resistance. So that's one option. If you're doing anything relating to like lifting motions, so your chest for instance, you can do press ups, you can get some dumbbells, lay on a bench and you can lift them directly above your, head, like above your chest like so. Um, you can do some shoulder work, so you can get some dumbbells and you can lift them above your head. Um, the shoulder has three parts to it. It's got the front deltoid, it's got the side deltoid, and it's got the rear delt. Um, the front delt is activated where every time basically you do this kind of motion. The side, sideways, and the rear delt, although, it's, it's, although I said the shoulder is a pushing motion, with the rear delt it is much more of a pulling motion to activate that rear delt of the shoulder. Um, so anytime you lift anything above your head, you're kind of activating the entire shoulder. Um, but if you want to target certain things, then get some weights and lift them up to the side. That will work all those areas. And then when it comes to your back, um, it, any weights, you can bend over, you can lift them into you. Um, you can pick weights off the floor. Um, there, there's a whole variety of different exercises. Like I said, I'm not going to go into it too much, um, but don't be afraid of using some dumbbells and some kettlebells. To, to do a whole variety of different exercises um, and definitely try and include it. And obviously you can do things like bicep curls, you can lift things up and lift them above your head like so. There are all sorts of fun exercises you can do. Now by this point, hopefully, you have got some ideas going through your head of different things you can do when you're in the gym. Um, you've obviously got your goal, that was the first thing I suggested you think about. You now know the different areas of the body that you can target and things that you can do to exercise those areas. And I've spoken a little bit about the key machines or weights that you can use. When you go down the gym, what I would recommend you do is don't just walk into the gym, and I know I've already said this at the beginning, but don't just walk into the gym with an aim aimlessly, right? Go into the gym and say, today I am going to do a whole body exercise. I'm going to do two exercises on my legs, two on my, like, my pushing muscles, and two on my back. And then I'm going to do a bit of cardio maybe on a treadmill, or I'm going to do some rowing, for instance. Perfect. Great, all round, you'll feel, you'll feel good. Alternatively, you can say today I wanna work some legs. I'm just gonna focus on my legs. I'm gonna do some, some squatting. Uh, I'm gonna do some like bridging where I sort of sit down and I lift my bum in the air and that's gonna really help. Uh, I'm gonna do all kinds of different leg machines. I, I'm gonna do some of that. Or you might go in and choose a different body part. That's absolutely fine, okay? If you're watching this video and your objective is purely to lose weight or to get a bit healthier, 
Um, I'm going to tell you the very blanket statement rule of calories in versus calories out. You want to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight. And your body is excellent at adapting, so just be aware of that. Uh, but essentially, if you cut your calories back a little bit more, think about what you're eating in terms of the, the main portions as well as snacking and try and cut back on those, those naughty things that you would normally sneak into your diet. You will over time lose weight. And by going to the gym, that is going to accelerate the speed at which you can lose that weight and it's going to make it a bit easier for you. So if you are that kind of person, all right, um, any kind of cardio is going to help to an extent, but using weight and resistance training will help no end. Um, resistance training is fantastic at toning the body, at making your body want to lose weight. And actually, the more muscle you have on your body, the more effective your body is at burning fat. So, and any of you, if you're watching this and you don't want to like gain loads of muscle, um, if you are just looking to tone and lose a bit of body fat, by doing resistance training, that will help achieve your goal. I can promise you, you're not all of a sudden going to grow different muscles out of all sorts of different parts of your body. If anything, you will just start to look leaner um, and you will feel better. So make sure you incorporate all those different elements into your exercises and plan them in accordingly. And the final thing I'm going to say is all about maintenance. And what I mean by maintenance is you need to make sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends, all right? So, for instance, we don't want extremes, we want a middle ground. We don't wanna kill ourselves at the gym and starve ourselves when we get back home because that's not gonna achieve anything. Your body needs to recover. If you've gone in the gym, whatever workout you've done and you've left feeling quite puffed, you feel like you've had a good workout, you're gonna sleep well that evening, your body needs to recover and the way it recovers is through the food that you ingest. So if you go home and you say, I'm not going to eat for the rest of the evening, even though I've just done a really good workout, your body needs it. You're going to get tired. You're going to feel achy. You're just not going to feel as good as you could do if you put some good food in your body. That doesn't mean to say you eat uh, a McDonald's because you've just done a good job. No, 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 no. You still apply healthy eating principles. So you eat good whole foods. You cook it yourself. Um, you're getting good proteins in. You're getting good carbohydrates, getting lots of nice veggies in there. That is, that is kind of a, a standard, um, but please don't starve yourself because you'll feel it and, you'll, and that will put you off continuing in the gym or in any fitness that you've done, even if that's working out from home. So work, work hard. If it's a case that you do a couple of exercises a week and you go, yeah, my, my, I'm really achy, by all means, take a day off. All right. Ultimately, the way that your body progresses and improves is through the recovery, not through the specific exercises themselves. So yeah, just don't starve yourself, keep yourself well fueled, uh, just follow the principles I've spoken about in this video and you should be good to go. Um, the final thing, I know I said the final thing before, but the final, final thing is um, try and stick to this idea or, or at least create some kind of plan uh, for at least two weeks, if not a month, because your body is uh, very adaptable and so if you just decide that you're gonna do it for a week and you go, well, I've not, lo I've not lost any weight, I feel a bit better, but why would I bother? Your body has not had enough time to adapt and to, to, to change, to make changes. So stick with it for a longer period of time. I would say two weeks to a month is a minimum period of time you should stick with it for and stay consistent with going to the gym three times a week, two times a week, whatever you can manage, eating well. And I can assure you by the end of that time, Assuming that you're in a calorie deficit, assuming that you've done worked hard in the gym and that you re have recovered well as well, you will see a difference. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here before it goes on too long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, as I said at the beginning, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you want to know anything else or you've got any questions for me, comment down below. See you guys soon. Bye.